So we have drilled everything. And it's time to start installing our inlet. I'm going to get a bit gluey here, I think. easiest way to do this is to uh, have some glue on the bench just to splurge out over there and dip your inlay in that and use these to try and hold it in place this is a very fiddly old process Place it in the hole, and if you're lucky, it goes straight in. Whenever I'm using a file, and especially when I'm using a file <laughs> around a piece of wood that is this expensive and a guitar this wonderful, uh, you use rock climbing rules. Three or four or five points of contact at any one time. I've got three fingers and a thumb holding that file there, and all five fingers, or four fingers and a thumb. Thumbs are confusing, aren't they? Uh, holding that there. I'm even holding the handle up against my arm and that means that this file is absolutely stable and is absolutely going exactly where I want it to. So I've been fiddling around with the file and especially now that I need to hold the body because uh, it's carved and won't fit in any of my vices, I suddenly realized this uh, which was the first prototype for our three inch um, spot leveling and fret profiling tool you can buy it on our shop this is perfect. I, uh, <laughs> it's the absolute, well, it's spot on. <laughs> it's a spot leveller. It's a spot on spot leveller being used for filing down brass and nose. What can I say? So I've just bandsawed out a couple of uh, strips of ebony. These are left off, left over um, from the sides of a fretboard. Lovely little uh, pencil sharpener stolen from my kids. And as well as some pretty shavings, I end up with a lovely perfect point. And this is going to uh, start creating my inlays. I have to uh, re-drill every single hole. Just to make sure there's no glue in there. Again, I'm using super glue and I'm going to drip it onto my bench and dip the tip of what I'm inlaying 
into the glue. It's a bit messy on the bench, but I can clean that up. And dip that in there. supposed to have a hammer near at hand. Just give that a little tap and rinse and repeat many times. So bang it in place. I despise super glue accelerator. It smells horrible. It's carcinogenic as hell and harmful and horrible. However, I've got 44 of these to do. And if I was to wait for the super glue to dry every single time, I'd be here for a very long time. So do that and I suspect I can use wire cutters. There we go. Now doing it that way instead of using a saw, uh, I've got lots of saws but I don't want to get super glue in my saw blades. Uh, this, I'm chopping it off a middle or two uh, away from the side of the guitar and I'm not going to have any problems. I will go back later uh, when I'm absolutely certain the glue is totally dry and at that point I will re... Uh, I will re... <laughs> I will make it all flush and nice. I am now re-sharpening. There we go. Dip the ebony in, put it in your hole, little tap, little squirt, little snip. Turns out that uh, these little steel sharpeners are actually rather hard on the fingers after five or six uh, sharpens. And, uh, well, I've clamped it to the bench. If I break it, my daughter's going to kill me. There we go, nice and sharp. And much easier. We are nearing the end. The end is nigh. These square edges don't half make it hard on your fingers. Well, on my fingers. You're watching. Lazy bastards. Halfway through I realised that the uh, Super glue accelerator wasn't actually necessary. So this has been curing now for an hour or two, pretty much unnecessarily since it was super glue, but uh, better safe than sorry. So now I'm going to go and file away all of the ebony. <laughs>